Rolling. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Spinner Rack. I'm here with the crew, Petey and Cal. Say what's up, guys. What up? Ready to rock. Hey, so we're talking about the news that dropped a little while ago. Kevin Feige admits Marvel should not have, have had Tilda Swinson as the Doctor Strange character, the ancient one. Yes, this was a big news when it came when the movie came out. People were like, hey, why do they use her? Why do they have this particular character? I know that here in the show that we also talked about it, but it's good that after all these years, they finally came back and said that hey, this wasn't oh. exactly the idea. The, the, oh. the story behind it, though, is pretty interesting. Uh, Marvel originally thought that they did not want to have the standard casting of, a, of an Asian person being the wise old man on a mountain, basically. And so they decided, let's go the to The standard of what you just said is exactly what it is. The wise old man that's a positive character. And they turned it into a stereotypical character. Yeah, the wise old Asian man is Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Everybody yeah. loved it. He's the, what is it? He's the, he's still like the central focus on the Karate Kid, that same show that everybody can't get enough of. They're full of it. They're full of bull roar. You guys were chicken, okay? You were chicken scat, and you decided you were going to try to take a dodge. Oh, you know what? Let's throw a woman in here, and that way nobody's going to be able to critique us because we're going to come here and have some diversity at the end of the day, and blah, blah, blah. You, the only way to know if the, how the audience is going to react is you got to go over here and do it. Unless you're going to just do something like outwardly offensive, like paint the guy yellow and give him a what a Fu Manchu mustache down to his waist, you know, make him walk in the wooden shoes or something. And yeah, I can understand the reaction. But if you treat the character with respect, you know, the ancient one, if you read the comics, he never came across as hokey or stereotypical. He was literally the wise man on the mountain who helps Doctor Strange learn his potential and, be, and uh, become the master of the mystic arts. You can't do that with an Asian character? Yeah, it was pretty sad, man. Pretty, pretty bad it's, uh, in her casting and stuff like that, and and the way they they made her look too. I don't, I don't think that was exactly the way. I think they wanted to make her look ageless or, or whatever. But and ancient or ancient, ancient and ageless, I guess. Could like Age, this or ageless. Okay. Well, look at this. I mean, that's another point that the ancient one looked ancient, and then now they're like, well, she's timeless, which is not the same thing. But look at look at what he said. He thought we we're being so smart and so cutting edge. We're not going to do the cliche, though, why is an old Asian man? But there's a wake up call to say, hey, wait a minute. Is there any other figure, any way to figure it out? And the next thing you know, of course, they um, blew it. You know, they totally blew it. So it's a thing where you had a character that could have been a positive Asian character. You could have done that in Iron Man, too. But they kept saying, you know what, we don't want to upset the the Asian market, and then at the same time, you had people like, um, who was it? I was one of Gilbert Godfrey and Whoopi Goldberg. They were talking about it and talking about the history of, you know, Asian actors and performers, where at some point, like, they had these terrible characterizations of Asian characters done by white, white men with makeup. And then at some point, the Asian actors, like, will just give us these roles. We need roles. So they finally started doing it. So it goes back to the history of Hollywood saying, no, let's not use Asians. So they tried to step over one stereotype and they became the other stereotype. And yep. the other thing that um, the way I brought up, Gilbert Godfrey and Whoopi Goldberg, they're joking about it. But you have the ancient one there, right? And he's this woman and he turns over and there's the old Asian guy there. Why couldn't he be the ancient one? And it's like they have... <laughs> <laughs> it's like they said they couldn't do it, but then the, her other monks that are there are Asians. So then why couldn't this guy play the ancient one? Why couldn't he get the the the, the primo role? And that's like that. That's the hypocrisy the hypocrisy of doing trying to be trying to have your cake and eat it too. Like this, doing two things at once, and it didn't work out. And now they're like, no, we're missing. Like somehow they still give them credit that they're you know that they're all into this diversity thing, where they're just like. They just wake up one day with a dart and they say, this person, <laughs> this person's Asian, this one's black, this one's that. And it's like, oh, we did it, we fixed them. When ultimately you can complain about these characters, it doesn't mean you can't you know, cast all of the supporting roles, all the people around the characters as a, uh, having them be diverse and having them have more than one line, the human characters, nope. We got to change these heroes instead of, you know, they could have put Shang-Chi out first. We're like, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. That's offensive. Well, now what are you doing? 
you're still doing that character with yeah. the Japan true character. Oh, and you're you offending to. you're offending two billion people over there in China with your <laughs> choice of lead. So it doesn't matter. You still offended people for all your stuff that you're trying to do. You still offended people. No, you know what's hey, I don't know how either much you guys used to watch. Did either of you guys ever watch Mash? Yes. Yeah. We watched yeah. Mash. There was this character. There was this uh, character that uh, Alan Ola's character Hawkeye falls in love with. It's a Korean girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she said this was like this actress said this was like one of the first roles she was able to get. She was already an actress in Korea, but then she had to come over because of what happened. Uh, she had to come over for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Thanks to the Korean War or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly what. But she comes over. And she got the role and the role was everybody loved doing the role, but then they started writing in saying that they couldn't believe that Alan Alda's character would fall in love with the Korean woman. So they killed her off. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so they killed her off. So that's the type of stuff, that's the type of stuff that you want to make certain that, okay, we need to deal with that, but we're gonna have a commitment to making, you know, if we want, we're gonna have a commitment to diversity, making certain these characters are viable, making certain that we stand behind these characters. But what Marvel did for years, and that was since Iron Man, they were like, no, we're going to come over here and play Slippery Snake and, you know, just try to weasel our way out of it. And then they were like, on one hand, it's like, oh, we didn't do, want to do the wise man on the mountain thing. So we didn't do that. But you did Wong. OK, Wong didn't come up. Wong wasn't the manservant or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. OK, you did Wong. So you, you were able to get Wong without any problem. How was the what was the deal with the Asian, with the, uh, the ancient one at the end of the day? You, you know, you just didn't want to do it. You and I like Wong. Him. I like Wong. I said we Wong should give was him fine, but Benedict Wong, and he uh he played uh he was Chinggis Khan in uh Ma Marco Polo for the Netflix series. <laughs> He's good in that as well. But you come over, you look at Wong, okay? You didn't have again. It's like whack because they didn't have any problem with Wong. You didn't have any problem race switching when it came to Mordu and decided Mordu was now going to be African as opposed to uh. Yes. You know, as yeah. opposed to Eastern European, like he was before, that's no problem. Yeah. You weren't you weren't worried about that over here. And then with, you, you're over here with the uh, with the ancient one. Oh, we got to make these. Like, no, you guys were chicken scat. You didn't want to do it, and you thought you were smarter than everybody else. You're like, oh, we look how we evaded the Mandarin in that first movie. Look how we evaded the Mandarin in the third Iron Man movie. Look how we evaded the Asian peril in this movie over here. Now you're like, well, damn, you could have been ahead of you could have literally been ahead of the game and they could have really been ahead of the game with uh, Iron Fist but they decided that they were going to pay the least amount of attention to that show <laughs> at, at the end of the day but they could have been ahead of the game when it uh, started from right there and instead you're over here now you, it's almost like they're playing catch up and we got what we got to hope that uh, I, I've got my hands together I'm sitting on the edge of my bed holding my bible saying please 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 okay don't come after Shane Chi for any nonsense reasons I need that film to succeed so I can finally, hopefully, in the future, get a better lead who's a little bit got more swagger, you know, closer to the Bruce Lee icon at the end of the day. But that's oh my that. goodness, are you serious about that? Are you really that's, serious that's about that? Long, that's a long way. Oh that's pretty much. I mean, I can, I gotta cut you off there. Yo, Petey, what do you gotta say about that madness, man? I don't disagree about. I mean, that, that I think it's gonna be waiting a long time to get a new lead unless they. Do the tr tried and true replacement type of deal, which I don't not sure. They're not getting a new lead. They're doubling, and that's it. Okay, so let's get let's, let's for both of y'all. Let's just get that going. Okay, they got the audience to worry about, but the problem is for me is that it shows that Marvel is not as progressive as we think. We just they're just pulling um, what's the name nationalities out of a hat and saying, all right, we need this in our film. We need um, we, we know what we're interested in. We change everything and this nobody cares about this Doctor Strange thing. So we get a black guy to play more it was it Mordu and we also made or, or Baron Mordu Mar 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 and then, then we do um, the ancient one as a as a female or non-binary, whatever you want to say she is. Well, right? we're not going there, Peter. <laughs> but do you like because she's I mean this character, this actress has shown to play either, you know, either been able to do both. So in, when you see that in, uh, thing, hmm? remember what was it the the Constantine film and she played Gabriel and yeah. Gabriel was like nondescript. It was supposed to be like, hey, we can't tell if this is a, if she's playing a dude or a chick. Yep, that's, that's why they put her in this one. So there you go. So once you look at this sort of thing that Marvel's doing, instead of saying, all right, 
you know, we, you know, we have like doing say, just use an example as the, those Fantastic Four movies that came out before the one, the, tra tra the trash one, I mean, Trank one. When you look at that one, they say, all right, we have the leads that are, you know, white guys, white guys, and one white, white girl. And the next thing you know, who's not actually white, but let's keep moving on for the sake of argument. And then you have, you know, the black army guy, like you can put your diversity in there. But the problem that people keep going in there is just say, all right, let's keep changing all this stuff. Let's change this. And now we got to fix. We're the, we're the guys and it's like, this colorblind casting is Hollywood's thing for past days, but then they were also wanted, you know, Kevin Feige wanted to pat himself on the back for this. And he, you know, it's it's a little too late in my opinion, that it'd be like, you know what, he's apologizing. It's like anyone with a brain would know that it makes more sense to not do that. You know, it's an Asian character. They keep, I've been sitting around there complaining that they won't allow any Asian characters in these things. Oh no, we got Hogan the Grimm. <laughs> Oh, th thank you. Another swap. But I think yeah, that's where you're going to go. You know, but anyway. I think anything else, Kyle, before we uh, wrap this up? Mm, I'll say I'll just stay here. I'll be I'll be I'll be kind and just stay where I'm at right now. OK, so while we don't think it was a fatal flaw, um, as I wrap Does this we up. Do with the, what you're saying is that we still like the film? Yeah, the film was pretty good. Did we not like Doctor Strange? Yeah, yeah, like Doctor Strange, but these guys are coming out now and these guys are doing this Mia Culpa. I'm like, dude, you were just, yeah, come on, man. Come on. And she was come also on. in the uh, end game. So it's like, it's, it's, so it's too late now. They already utilized her in the both films. And now later on, you're going to be like, before that, tell them saying, you know, complain about the audience being toxic. And now you apologize. So I guess the audience was right. They weren't actually toxic, huh? Wait, you know, I gotta play a devil's advocate here. If oh, they would have made him look coming. if he, huh? We knew this was coming. If, he, if they had made Fu Manchu look uh, a Fu Manchu look alike on the uh, uh, ancient one, I think people would have said, "Hey, why are you doing something like that? That's so overtly." Um, what a, a positive character! We're not asking for the Fu Manchu in in um, in Shang Chi. We're asking for a positive ancient one. Who is the, the you know the the ancient one allows oh, was it, like the Baron to actually almost try to take out him to let Strange figure out his place and Strange the goodness in his heart comes out where he has no abilities he has no abilities when he tries to save the ancient one and then uh, Mordu puts something over his mouth so he can't say anything anytime he wants to tell the ancient one the truth. And the next thing you know, the ancient one says, yes, I know, you know, and now we'll start training you as Dr. Strange. So it's a powerful moment between the two of them. So you take the comic books, they're not fixing it and making it better. The moment between that and the comic books could be used on film. Of course, the ancient one is testing, you know, with Stephen Strange, and he comes through with flying colors finally after being such a douche early on. So that works, it's a positive character. And then he's he's been there throughout him. He you know he gives he switches his capes. He gives him the cape of levitation. It's a big moment, and it's like a, the the book sort of steps up. And it's like moments where you look at the ancient one. It's powerful moments that you're just throwing out to say, "Oh, I'm worried about what if someone is upset with us with the you know they're saying this is a stereotypical character." Stereotypical what of a positive character? Yeah, <laughs> they they lose the whole dynamic and the theme of father and son when you take out the ancient one because the relationship between Doctor Strange and the Ancient One was a father-son relationship at the end of the day. And it was a very redeeming for Doctor Strange at the end of, um, at, you know, at the end of all things. You know, eventually the Ancient One dies, okay? And he's like, can still communicate with Doctor Strange from the hereafter because of, uh, because of his great mystical powers and his connection. But aside of that, you know, you had whole stories that were dedicated to Doctor Strange trying to make certain that the Ancient One didn't die. You know, the, you, you took out that whole dynamic and the, the thing that gets me is that this is the dynamic that has been shown that works, at least in the basic father-son theme. It, it's the Karate Kid, and nobody has any problem with that. Nobody comes over, hey, you know what? We're tired of Miyagi with the ancient man. No, Miyagi is treated with respect as a character. 
Okay, nobody gives you any grief over nobody gives you any grief over that whole thing. Even with all the modern stuff, they won't give they won't give grief over it. Why? Because he was a great character. He was inspirational, and the core of it, he is the he, he's the missing he's the missing element that Daniel Son needs in his life. Be it masculine, father, all that other type of stuff that's there. You could have had the same thing here with uh, with Doctor Strange. Instead, we got Tilda Swinson. So you think it would have made a difference uh, if they had another character? I mean, if they did all the scenes the exact same way and they put an You Asian lose character. something when you make those changes, okay? Because there's a reason why these characters, Doctor Strange is a character that's been around since the 60s. Like what, 62, 63? Doctor Strange is a character who's been around and has survived. I mean, there are other characters who came out when Doctor Strange came out as well. We don't know who they are, okay? They're not being published anymore. And there's a reason why these characters last as long as they do. And then it is the ultimate hubris that somebody comes in and decides, no, we're going to change this. We're going to change that. And not necessarily because it's something that you can't affect on screen, but you think you know better, okay, than what these guys are over here doing. And this is a dynamic that, uh, to use, a, to use a, a word that a friend of mine likes to use all the time, this would have been an enhancement to the overall story, okay? As opposed to, oh, let's play it safe. Okay, let's play it safe and you know present this for the people instead. You lost that dynamic right over there. You could have some really good character moments, some real uh, human components, you know, human component moment if you want, you know, at the end of the day. But you decided to take all that away and you give us an ancient one who, to be quite honest, is nowhere near as connected to Doctor Strange as the ancient one in the comics. All right, so Mordu, Mordu, whatever. Mordu was like, yeah, we need a black guy in here. <laughs> What's that dude's name? That's a whole Dr. other Red discussion. Bell. Yeah, we'll Red Bell, about, get him in here. Yeah. We'll talk about that. That's a whole other discussion. So, guys, overall, I mean, we think it's a. a, a, a I don't issue. accept the apology. We don't accept the apology. What are you talking about? Kevin Feige, we accept your apology. We do not you accept your apology. We do a, a, a accept the apology. You do all of the it. things that you've done wrong because of this, ruined the Mandarin in the third third Iron Man film, you know, took away um, you know, Joe Henson. And, the uh, resume is in with, 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 with Marvel. So. Wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I got to be on the fence with this one. I don't want to accept the apology. But the resume is in. <laughs> <laughs> Smitterack? Out. Out. Okay, we got to touch the, the Henry Cavill.